down our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you. It is grace. It is grace. Nothing short of it. It is grace that we are not ashamed. It is by the grace that we give thanks to you today. It is by your grace that we are standing today. It is by your grace that we are celebrating today. It is grace. Nothing short of it. And we humbly bow before your throne in acknowledgement, acknowledgement of the grace you purchased for us on the cross of Calvary. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration for your love, for your mercies, for your kindness. Be that praise, O oh Lord. As we share your word, Father, Lord, minister to each and every one of us in Jesus' name. None of us shall leave this sanctuary the same we came. We shall be renewed, transformed, Revived, revitalized by your spirit, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Pastor, for another privilege and opportunity given to me to share to the people of God. Amen. And I pray that the Lord Almighty will bless each and every one of us in a special way and a unique way in Jesus' name. Uh, yes, I opened the, the month with uh, October 1 because October 1 happened to be my bad day. And uh, praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you know the irony of it, when we were, when we were growing up, uh, for the people that did not come from Nigeria, uh, October 1 happened to be the Independence Day for Nigeria. So when we were young, yes, you don't know. Okay, <laughs> that's the information now. <laughs> Amen. So, when we were growing up, it's my day that we go to celebrate in a, in a gathering. Every school, we go to the feed for the match pass and everything. And then when we go get home, we will eat special food. And then during that time, the government was so good that they would give us souvenirs. They will cook food for us. They will give, you know, during those periods, wonderful. So my sister will be asking, Daddy, Mommy, why is it that it's only when Demola is, is doing, celebrating his birthday that we will not go to school, we will go to feed, we will, we will, the government will also celebrate for us. But Dad will say, yes, you don't know now, but Demola is a special child. And I grew with that. I'm a special child. And the reason, you know the reason, because the message this month is that not ashamed. Not ashamed. And the topic today is that not ashamed to offer thanksgiving. Not ashamed to offer thanksgiving. Why? Why will you not ashamed? What is the reason? What is the purpose? And I want you to turn your Bible to Isaiah chapter 53. We'll read the whole of Isaiah. Somebody that is a fast reader, please uh, help me read. A fast reader. And I want new King James Version or old King James Version. Praise the Lord. So don't say, we know we are a kind of old school. So we stick, we still stick to old uh, um, New King James, Old King James Version. From verse 1 to hand. Two 
put out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was his stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked, and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him into grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Verse 12. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he had poured out his soul upon death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. My sister, God bless you for that wonderful reading. If I have the right, I will have, uh, you know, the new, new caster in our country during those days are celebrity. You just need to be a newscaster. My sister, you're a celebrity in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Look at this place. Do, do we have the understanding why you have to be ashamed of him? Do we have the understanding? He was not ashamed of you. He went through the cross. Isaiah 53 explain it. He's not ashamed of me. Why should I be ashamed of him? Everything in the world today is talking about that. Are you still believing in this nonsense Christ? So many of us, we mind our dignity. We shy away. But let me tell you, the path of glory is paved with shame. The pathway to glory, anything, look at it. Is it in your profession? Everything, the path to glory. And when we are talking about glory, there is one glory on this earth. Is the glory of the kingdom. I was meditating on it. They, when they want to look at the value of a man, they will begin to say net worth. So I was now looking at okay, net worth. I, net worth means what? I said, what is the, the totality of it? Money. Your money is what? We, is that the value of human being? Is money the value, your own value? My value is the kingdom. Is kingdom what? I was sitting down there. I look at it, net what? I said, I was not saying, what will I? All this was telling me, I was communing, telling me net what? That is, that is the value of man on heart, carnal man. But the value of man on earth. Is transformed when we give our life to Jesus Christ. Therefore, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. All things have become new. So you have become kingdom what? Um, media, please. 
Let me show what the choir sang. Media. Bring it up. When I move, kingdom moves. When I speak, kingdom speaks. Kingdom of God is within me. So that is your word. That is our word. What is in you? You are ashamed of him. Greater is he that is in me. Christ that was ashamed than he that is in the world. You carry authority. You carry substance. When people have money, they say it's loaded. I'd rather not be loaded in the way of the world, but be loaded in the way of the kingdom. Because that is the authority that God has bestowed upon every one of us. For you and I to have this, Christ chose shame. And let me tell you, God is mysterious. Christ is 100% Kana. Christ is 100% Kana and the same thing, 100% God. Kana means the nature of man. When he needs to sleep, he will sleep. He will be snoring, even while on the storm. When he was hungry, he will be hungry. When he needs to rise up, when he needs to bow down, follow the principles of growth. He was 100%. He was also tempted like you and I. But he submitted himself to be tempted. But he's also 100% God. But brethren, but do you know what? Satan will come around to test your commitment to the kingdom. Because you are born 100% Kana. We are 100% human. When we gave our life to Jesus Christ, it's like emptying the tube, removing our carnality, reducing it. The more we give in to God, the more carnality reduces. The more you give in to God, the more carnality reduces, and the more you become spiritual. Until you live by the Spirit. The Bible says there is therefore no, no condemnation. Romans chapter 8. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. When you give in to God, you build your spiritual capacity. And that is life. And that is why we can call the short on this earth. It's not the value of money you carry. Money can buy a bed, water bed, or any kind of bed, special bed, but it can't give you sleep. Money can buy the best drug, but it can't buy the best health. As long as you are committed not to be ashamed of him, you will get the best. You will manifest him. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. He lives in you when you are not ashamed of him. He, he will come in his might to dwell in you. Brethren, are you ashamed of him? In your place of work, are you ashamed of him? Are you ashamed? To put sticker of Jesus on your car? Are you ashamed? Oh, we are in the environment there with anything about Jesus. People will get angry with you. 
Is it that people should get angry with you? Or people should love you and God will get angry with you? I'd rather please God than please man. God will give us the wisdom on how to navigate the path in this world. But let me tell you, they are hard, they are waiting for us. There is earnest expectation. The world world waited for the earnest expectation of the Son of God. They are waiting for us to manifest. And the journey starts from your closet. He that set you in secret will reward you openly. Brethren, we are not ashamed to give thanks to God. And I want us to look at some scripture within 11 minutes that is remaining. Somebody should open to Romans chapter 1, verse, verse 16. Another person should open Luke chapter 9, verse 26, quickly. Romans 1, 16, Luke 9, 26. Yeah. It's not her shame. Paul said it. He knew his life. Then Luke 9, 26. The son of man will not be ashamed of you. Brethren, I wrote something here. In the world... Anything you do for the kingdom is shame. When you tread in the path of carnality, anything you are doing for God is shame. Will you rather shame or shine? Anything of the kingdom is about the glory of God. Are you ready to showcase that glory? And take up that shame in the world. Take that shame of the world and shine for the kingdom. Shining, arise, shine for the glory of God has come. Take up the cross. Psalm 24, verse 5. Psalm 34, verse 5. Another one should open 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 16. Another person should open 2 Timothy chapter 2, 25, 2, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. And then Sam. Has anybody seen anything? They look unto him and were lighting. And their faces were not. Who are you looking unto? You are looking unto the world. Oh, my dignity. How can I do this? How can I do this? Me, this is my position. How can I belittle myself? It's rather you belittle yourself before carnal men. So that God can lift you. The Bible says, See as thou a man diligent about his business, his commitment to the kingdom. He will not stand before men, men but, be, but before kings. Where then? As you give thanks to God. You are taking the shame of the world and taking the glory of God. Another one, Psalm, which one? Psalm 119, verse 6. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 16. Psalm 119, verse 6. When you look into the commandment, the word, and that's why I say, study Second Timothy chapter two verse 15, uh, fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of the truth. Take me back to First Peter chapter four verse sixteen, because we don't have the time. First Peter 
chapter 4, verse 16. Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. Let him glorify God. That is thanksgiving. I want us to look at the account of two people in the Bible. David and Micah. What happened to David? David took up shame to dance like nobody. When the Spirit of the Lord come upon David, he danced. He danced like any nonsense. He danced, you know, you might, you might, you know, a, a king, a, a king. During this period, they were to bring the Ark of God's Covenant back to Jerusalem. And he was dancing. And Michael looked unto him. Second Samuel chapter 6, verse 12 to 23. We, not, we do not have the time to read it. And he was dancing. He was not ashamed. But what happened? The Bible said, Micah despised him. Then how can you, a king, dance? How can you be ashamed? Don't you, don't you have shame? You know, sometimes when you are doing some things for God, a lot of people look at you and say, you, why are you doing this? And I remember the story which I had, that a man was one of the richest in that uh, in that church. Is the richest in that church. And what did he do? He's the one cleaning the toilet. He was cleaning the toilet. He didn't have job. So he kept on cleaning the toilet. And uh, after some time, Holy Spirit ministered to him that he should write to companies that he want to begin to clean their toilets. And he didn't write to just ordinary company. God told him, write to the BB companies. And they gave him a kind of retainership or assourcing and everything. So he's the one that was now, he started cleaning their toilet. Then the work was so big. And then he began to employ people. And they are working for him. And to the point that God blessed him and he had money. But average kind of man will stop cleaning the toilet, but he refused. He kept on. Then people did not know who was cleaning the toilet. People did not know who was cleaning the toilet. Because, you know, in church, there are a lot of assumptions. We normally make a say, ah, this is the brother that normally do this thing. You don't know. It happened to me. There was a time in our church, we found out that the church would just be clean. <laughs> we were not saying, ah, is that sister? Is that sister that is cleaning the toilet? That is cleaning the church, clean everything. Before we know it. Not knowing that the guy in my house, my wife's sister, Ebu, she's the one that will go to the church, begin to pray, begin to clean the place. Let me tell you, Ebu didn't have the brain to go to university. God transformed everything concerning her life. <laughs> God did what? Transform everything. She was not ashamed. That man that I was talking about, one day, Pastor met him and said, Ah, bro, why, why, why should you be the one to clean the toilet? Why should you not be the one to clean? Why should you not be the one? He said, Ah, no, you shouldn't be. He said, Pastor, you don't know what you are saying. God has watched that most things I keep quiet because I've seen a lot of things that I, I look at. God had to humble me. That's why when society, I will just keep quiet. I don't have anything to say. I don't even know what to say. Because as you are thinking it, another thing is happening. That's why I normally tell people, be careful what is going on in your heart. Because that thing that you are seeing, somebody that you are seeing, you are looking at, is in the hand of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is dealing with him. And you don't know. I met somebody this morning. Holy Spirit said, 
I'm working in his life. And I saw the picture when God was working in my life. That I was useless for the kingdom. So I begin to take him up in prayer. You don't need to call him, but begin to pray. Take him up in prayer. So that he has something. His destiny is tied to something for the glory of God. Brethren, you will not be ashamed. Amen. David was not ashamed. He thanked God with dancing. Daniel 11, 30 says, As such I do wickedly against covenant, shall he corrupt with Patrick. But they that know their God, they shall do exploits. A rich fool in Luke chapter 12. He said, now I have the money. You know, some, so many of us, when we have arrived, when we have the net worth, he said, yes, I've arrived. There are some certain things I will not begin to do. Pastor cannot commit for any nonsense in the church. Let me, anything in the church, nobody is above any, anything. If you, if open your, spirit of God, open your eyes. I said, clean the church. Carry the broom. Clean it. Don't be ashamed. Honor God. Thank God. Give glory to God. That's your kingdom word. Brethren, we have had a wonderful month. Let this word not leave you. Some people... When they have money, that's when you see that. They, it's not the pastor that wants to control you. Nobody wants to control anybody. You are the one that will control yourself before God. A rich fool, he said, today, you think you have it. Instead of you to glorify God. Look at our Lord. When they gave him five loaves, what did he do? In Matthew chapter 14, he gave thanks to God. This is God, 100% God. He has to look up. Who are you looking on to? It's a sober reflection. It's a message for us, for me. Hey, Apostle, is this it? Who am I? I'm nothing. We are nothing. No matter what God has done. Do not let us fail to always give thanks to God. Paul and Silas. They were not ashamed of him in prison. They were beaten. They were, they were humiliated. Instead of them to, you know, because a kind of man will say, me, I'm humiliated. I'm, I'm serving God with all I've been doing. Let me tell you, still humble yourself before God. Be ashamed. Allow that shame. Accept it. Say, Father, I accept it. And in the generation, you will not be ashamed. They sang praise and God visited him then. That was why the temple foundation was shaking because that was the visitation of God. Because when, if God comes into this place physically, this place will be shaking. Physically shaking and spiritually shaking. And this morning, I saw church in a different way. The way the choir led, even the Sunday school, I could see we are not ashamed. Everything that happened in the church today was electrifying. The worship, the praise, it's like uh, something strange has happened. It's the glory of God that has entered the house. Brethren, as you are going, you will not be ashamed. As you take this step, you are shining. In the mighty, you are shining. You are, as you go extra mile for the God's glory to be manifested, God will lift you up. Amen. Don't you hear what he said in Isaiah 61 verse 7? He said, for the, for the shame that you think you are having shame, you shall have what? Double honor. Double glory. Amen. Double portion. Amen. Double blessing. Amen. Double visitation. Amen. That shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Man of God. God bless you. Congratulations on your birthday. You will not be ashamed. Amen. 
anything, any member of your household shall not be ashamed. Amen. Pastor, do you know the member of your household? It's not Pastor G.D. Elono. It's not Damila de Amilore. I'm part of your household. Hey, Pastor Austin is part of your household. Hey, my sister, my brother, they are part of your household. Everyone, they are part of your household. We shall not be ashamed. Amen. Amen. We shall not be ashamed. Amen. We shall not be ashamed. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord. Blessed be thy holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I think it's just my wife that is clapping.